Recording in progress. Hi, students. In this lecture, I am going to discuss previous years IIT questions. Let us see first one. Say statement one. In a metal bridge experiment, null point for an unknown resistance is measured. Now, the unknown resistance is put inside an enclosure maintained at a high temperature. It is given keeping inside a enclosure at a high temperature. The null point can be obtained at same point as before by decreasing the value of the standard resistance. See carefully what happens here. Writing now P by Q equal to L by 100 minus L, right? Suppose we are keeping now this unknown one is in left side, unknown one in right side. Okay. So null point can be obtained at the same point as before. Let us see once explanation part if left gap is unknown and right gap is known then x by r equal to l upon 100 minus okay now when we are keeping this at a high temperature its resistance will increase when this is increased, now to maintain same L value, we have to increase R value also. Then only we can maintain the ratio constant. But condition given that R is decreased, when R decreased and X increased, total value increases. That means balancing point, means null point, will shift towards the right side. Means L value will increase. That's why Statement one is not correct. Okay. And coming to statement two. Resistance of a metal increased with increase of temperature. So statement two is correct and one is wrong. Okay. See next one. To verify Ohm's law, a statement a student is provided with a Test resistor, a high resistance R1, a small resistance R2, two identical galvanometers G1 and G2, and a variable voltage source B. The correct circuit to carry out the experiment is so here we have to verify V equal to I into R means V proportion to. Sorry, I proportion to V, right? See carefully once we are given galvanometers G1, G2. Okay. So we have to construct now ammeter and voltmeter. And then we have to cross check the circuits. So we have learned that we have to connect small resistance parallel to galvanometer to convert into ammeter. And second point. We have to connect a high resistance in series with a galvanometer to convert into voltmeter. And next one, next one is we have to connect ammeter in series, voltmeter in parallel. So these points we have to use to verify the correct option. See carefully. Now, if you see first one, G1 R2, R2 means R2 means small resistance connecting parallel. So this becomes ammeter. But remember, we have to connect ammeter in series, not, not parallel, right? So this is not correct. Now come here. G1 R1, R1 is high resistance. Connecting high resistance of parallel, and that is again wrong. Okay. Now coming to option C. R1. R1 is high resistance. Connecting high resistance to in series to a galvanometer, it becomes voltmeter. 
it becomes voltmeter right and we have to connect this parallel to resistor so this is correct this part and coming to second part we have to connect a small resistance r2 parallel to gala meter to convert into ammeter and that ammeter we have to connect in series in circuit so this is also correct so option c is correct one and verify they also g1 r2 this is okay g2 r1 r1 higher resistance this is not okay okay here we have taken small resistance here we have taken high resistance so d is not correct so correct option is c okay direct one right see next one consider two identical galvanometers and two identical resistors with resistance r if the internal resistance of the galvanometers rc less than r by 2 which of the following statements about any one of the galvanometers is r true okay this question asked in 2016 advance first three options the maximum voltage range is obtained when all the components are connected in series. So this is the correct one, right? Because when we join all in series, resistance will become more. When resistance is more, it measures more potential difference. So first one is correct. When all components are connected in series, right next maximum current range is obtained when all components are connected in series this is wrong we have learned that we have to connect a small resistance parallel to galvanometer to get maximum range so resistance should be as small as possible okay so option b not correct option c the maximum voltage range is obtained when two resistors and one galvanometer are in series and second one in parallel. So this is not correct. Already we got option here, right? All must be series. And C, fourth one, the maximum current range is obtained when the two galvanometers are connected in series and Combination is connected in parallel with both resistors. So we have to connect. Resistors must be parallel to galvanometers. Then that becomes ammeter. Okay. That means option D is correct one. So correct options are A and D. Okay. Then see next one. Two bars of radius R and 2R are kept in contact as shown. An electric current I is passed. Condition is two bars of radius R and 2R are kept in contact as shown. An electric current I is passed through the bars. Which of the following is correct? So first one, heat produced. You can see in both bars, current will be same. So that's the first conclusion we can give. Now see option A. Heat produced in bar BC is a four times. The heat produced in bar AB. You can see in both the bars, current is same. Heat produced, it is I square RT. Coming to I value same, but we have to focus now resistance. You can see for AB, radius is double. Radius double means cross section area becomes a four times. Then resistance becomes one by four times because resistance is equal to rho L by A. Resistance becomes one by four times means 
heat produced i square r t i same t same r becomes 1 by 4 therefore in bc heat produced is four times the heat produced in bar ab so option a is correct okay next c electric field and again current is same then what we can say is to verify electric field we can take condition j bar equal to sigma into e bar ohm's law sigma is a constant therefore e bar and j bar both are proportional and j bar is i by a i value same in both area it is four times means in this j will be one by four times that in bc therefore current density one by four times that in BC, therefore, electric field also same. That's why B is not correct. Okay. Electric field in AB is 1 by 4 times that in BC. Because J bar is 1 by 4 times that in BC. Current density, this is wrong. So, B wrong, C wrong. Potential difference across AB 4 times that of across BC, this is wrong. Because just now we have discussed that electric field four times that in this one, right? Means potential difference is now four times in BC than that of AB. Are you getting it? In this J bar, one by four times. E bar, one by four times. That means this is four times that this value. So only correct one is, it is option A. Okay. And see next one. Two resistors, 400 ohm and 800 ohm are connected in series with a 6 volt battery. It is desired to measure the current in the circuit. An ammeter of 10 ohm resistance is used for this purpose. What will be the reading in the ammeter? Similarly, if a voltmeter of 100 ohm resistance is used to measure the potential difference across the 400 ohm resistor, what will be the reading in the voltmeter? This is a question asked in 1982 for six months. Let us see how to solve it. First of all, see the given data. Given two resistors. Four hundred. Eight hundred. Connected to a battery. This is a 400 ohm. Sorry, this is 800. Yes. And you can see given 6 volt. So first one, we want to measure current. Okay. Given resistance of ammeter is 10 ohm. So we have to connect ammeter in series. You can connect anywhere. Because throughout circuit, current is same. So if you take here ammeter, then see what happens. Current equal to 6 upon resistance of the circuit to total value 4 plus 8, 12, 1200 plus resistance of the ammeter. Okay. And this comes approximately, if you neglect this, we get 5 milliampere, right? This is approximately 4.96 milliampere. So that will be the reading. Remember here, if you are not having the ammeter, see what will be the current. Let us take it as I naught. 
if you are not having ammeter, current will be 6 by 1200. This will be 5 milliampere. Okay. If they ask like what is a percentage error, it has to measure 5 milliampere, but measuring only 4.96. If they ask like error, or they ask percentage error, delta i by i into 100. Means if they ask what is a percentage error, then we can write what is the variation? 0 0.04 milliampere upon 5 into 100, right? How much we get? 1, 2. This is a 4. 4 by 5. 4 by 5 means 0 0.8 percent. That is a percentage error in the measurement of current. Okay. So we always get a current less than the actual value because due to the addition of ammeter, resistance of the circuit will increase. Right. Let us in next one in this. So he is asking regarding. Yes, we have to measure potential difference across the 400 resistor. Okay. Then see what we are doing here. Four hundred, eight hundred. So it is now four hundred ohm, eight hundred, and this is six. Let us take before connecting voltmeter. We know current equal to five milliampere. 5 milliampere, 5 milli, 5, 10, 4, minus 3 into potential difference across this one, okay, into 400. See how much we get? 4, 5, 20, 20, and remain two zeros. Remaining is not 2, right? It must be 2 volt. So if you connect a voltmeter, actually it has to measure 2 volt if it is ideal voltmeter, okay? But practically, its resistance is not infinity, but large. So definitely reading will be less than two. So here connecting voltmeter, its resistance given, the resistance is thousand. The resistance is thousand. Now see how to find reading. First of all, we have to calculate current. Current equal to 6 upon 6 upon. You can see 400 and 1000. Both are parallel. For that, this is now in series. So we can write that value 800 plus this is now. R1, R2 by R1 plus R. Multiply these two by sum. See how much we get. It is a 2000 by 7, right? That is now current. Or this is equal to 6 into 7 upon 7 is 56. 56 plus 2, 58. 58. 100, right? That is a current. Now, reading will be V equal to this current into resistance of this entire one. Okay. Or do one thing. I will tell you one more thing here. In how many ways we can solve this potential difference? Let us take the CSI. Now, this is dividing into two parts. Suppose this is I1 or this is I2 dividing into I1 and I2. Okay. Then reading is taken as either I1 or 1. R1 means so take it as R1. Okay. Resistance of galvanometer or it is equal to I2 into 
400. Or simply you can take this is equal to I into effect to resistance. And that value, how much we got? 2000 by 7, right? So either you can solve like 1000 into I1 or I2 into 400 or directly I into effective value. Any of these three is okay, right? Then see how much we got. I am taking the last one. I use no. 6 into 7 upon 5800. Current is now we got resistance 2000 upon 7. 7 cancelled. 2 zeros cancelled. Next, what else left to here? It is 6 and this is now 20. 120, 120 upon 58, right? Then see how much we get approximately. This will be approximately 1.58, okay? So actually how much we have to get? In ideal case, ideal case, wait, wait, wait. I think I made a mistake here. 8, 7, 56. 56 plus 2000. Okay, this is a mistake here. 56 plus 2076. Okay. Just a minute. This is now seven six. Okay. So this is now seven six. So one twenty by seventy six. Then it is one point five eight. Okay. Just a calculation mistake. So either we can solve I one R one or I two R two. Otherwise, I into effect two resistance here. Right now, here also they can ask like, what is a percentage error in the measurement of potential difference? In the measurement of potential difference, then see what we can do. Delta V upon V naught. Okay, delta V. It has to measure two, but measuring only one point five eight. One point five eight. That means how much we get. 1.5 it means 2 minus 1.58 2 minus that means 0 0.42 right that is a difference upon 2 if you want percentage change into 100 and into 100 then see how much we got 42 by 2 means 21 so it is now percentage error is now 21 Okay, like this, they can ask what is a percentage error in the calculation of potential difference. That means to minimize, to minimize the error, we have to maximize the potential, maximize the resistance of this voltmeter. If resistance is more, less current will pass through this one. Okay then we can minimize the that error right so i hope you got clarity how we are finding reading of the armature and reading of voltmeter right